Hello wild ones, I'm here in the foothills of the Carnesa mountain range in Snowdonia. I've got three nights here, I'm hoping to visit some summits on this one. There's going to be waterfalls, just so much beautifulness, it's going to be a proper adventure. Let's go! So the plan for this trip is a beautiful circular, starting at Abba Falls and making our way up into the wild places beyond. I'm hoping to visit a few summits, two waterfalls and a lake, but this is just a plan of course and I'll be going with the flow and changing it up as I feel like I need to. So the first stop on our journey is Abba Falls and this place is a place that I know and love. I've been here before with my son so I thought it'd be a great place to start this little trip. And after that I'm in unfamiliar territory so it's anyone's guess how the rest of the trip will go. I've just stopped to get water so I'm quite heavy now but at least I don't have to worry for a bit now because it is hot and I'm gonna need to drink a lot. I am sweating. Right I found a path. I've got the most gorgeous view up here. I can see the sea and I can see the waterfall although that'll be out of view soon so I'll say goodbye to Abba Falls. So this path leads up to a 758 meter peak which I've planned to camp on or around so we'll see how we go but I'll see you further up. Oh, hi guys. Hi. Oh, you're so beautiful, yes. Tell you what, this is the life, isn't it? Three nights out here. It's like paradise. So we can see the sea on both sides. Mountains. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So I'm over 500 meters now, looking at the position of the sun. I think I've got at least two hours of daylight still. So we're doing good. 600 meters. I've come off the path. I'm heading straight up now. Yeah, let's do this. Here we are on summit number one. It's absolutely beautiful up here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pitch really high up, close to the summit. Then we'll have beautiful views tonight and in the morning. Let's find a little spot. Turn it up. It's looking pretty nice. Happy with that. What a pitch. This never happens to me. What's going on? <laughs> sunset. I never get sunsets. This is absolutely amazing and it's so still like there's not a whisper of wind up here. It's an absolutely beautiful night. What a day today has been. So I've walked nine kilometers, pitched on the summit. Absolutely perfect. Quick look at the map before my noodles are ready. So I've started, I've parked somewhere over here. There are car parks around, but they're not ones you can park in overnight. So I've walked in and then I've come up this beautiful trail here, really easy to Abba Falls. 
absolutely gorgeous but very busy there were loads of people here and i've come along here i followed this along come up here round like this and i followed this route round to this summit i don't know how to say that but we're camped right at the summit at the moment you know i feel quite isolated up here i don't think i've ever walked 9k on the first day before like to the first camp spot 9k from civilization it's quite a way and i haven't seen another person since i was at abba falls so i really am in the middle of nowhere up here but that's why i chose this area because after abba it's just nothing look at that it's gone 11 o'clock at night and there's still a red sky amazing all right i'm going to bed i think it's in the morning guys bye so warm already. I actually woke up because I was so hot in my sleeping bag. So I had a really nice sleep last night, six hours, nice deep solid sleep. I've had this morning a weather warning flash up on my phone saying thunderstorms but I've not got enough reception to look at the full forecast. So I've asked my Garmin, had to look on there and that's not mentioning thunderstorms and um, rain's not coming until tomorrow apparently but I don't know that thunderstorm warning's making me nervous because the route I had planned for today is really high and I don't want to camp up high if there's a risk of thunder and lightning so I think I'm gonna have to reevaluate. Let's just have a little looky here so we're here camped at the top of this one and I plan to come down to this little waterfall here which I'm still gonna do so one way or another We'll be there today, have lunch there. So that's the first part of the day. And then I was gonna head up to this peak here and that's where I was gonna camp tonight. That's pretty high at eight, four, nine meters. And with thunderstorm risk, I don't wanna be up there tonight. So we'll stay lower, try to stay around water. And uh, yeah, I'll get packed up now. And I'll see you a bit further down there and we'll try and figure out a way around Barra Mile. So I'll see you in a bit. Thank you, camping spot. We are on our way, that away. I can see the lay of this a bit better now, so I'm going to have a go coming down this side of it. Of course, it's over a rise, so I can't see what I'll be dealing with, but we'll have a look down low first. Look at that. I want to get in that sea so bad. Look how beautiful and blue it is. Look at this guy. Hi. I swear, I am taking hours trying to figure out a way down there. That's too steep right down. I found a way down to the river. It's possible, finally. That was harder than I thought it was going to be getting down here. Oh, how gorgeous. Now I've got to follow this up till we get to the waterfall. I'm gonna make some lunch and then I've got to make a decision where I'm going next. Mm. So I'm just deciding where to head now. And looking at this up here, I mean that looks okay to me. I'm gonna avoid all this rocky stuff. I'm gonna head up up to there and skirt around the rest of the hill because I don't want to get up to the summit or anything. Goodbye waterfall! Let's go, let's do this! Hill breeze! This is just pathless madness up here. I'm just going to aim a rough direction. Hope for the best. So I think what I'm going to do is follow this path. It's quite a nice path at the moment. And see if we can get down to that river down there because this path here 
This is the one I want to take tomorrow towards the lake in that direction. My lovely paths disappeared, so I'm going to follow these rocks down. It's quite steep here. Not unmanageably so. I oh, would be so glad to get down this. I don't usually like fences, but I'm really enjoying this one. <laughs> ah, no! I can see all the way down now. Easy. Easy peasy. I know steepness doesn't show very well in video, but that's what I've just come down. And I'm glad I don't have to do it again. <laughs> it is so, so beautiful down here. I've descended into heaven. I've got no actual plans for the rest of the afternoon. I've done everything I wanted to do, so I'm just having a leisurely meander up next to this river and gonna find somewhere nice to pitch close to the river and stay nice and low as well in this valley because of the thunderstorm risk tonight. So yeah, it's gonna be a gorgeous, relaxing afternoon. <laughs> How's this for a pitch for the night? A bit there. Right next to this beautiful river. Ready? What an absolutely perfect pitch this is for the river and the views. It feels so cozy. Could not have done any better. So I'm camped up at 237 meters. I think that'll be okay thunderstorm wise. Of course, if you're out in a thunderstorm, even at sea level, there is no safe place, but I'm in kind of a divot in the landscape here, fairly low. I think it'll be fine. Distance today is 6.7 kilometers. So not far, but they were hard kilometers, really hard. <laughs> today has been totally epic. Up there, my own private pool. Oh, it's so beautiful. Train mm -hmm. This map is basically falling in half. So this morning we started here on the summit. I've come down in this direction and I've come along up to the waterfall. And that's a really deep plunge point, that one. It's lovely. I've skirted around the bottom of this rocky outcrop bit and made my way up the side of this one. And then I've come around and around this side there's a nice little path, but then it disappears here. So I've made my way down the side of this forest and it's this bit here, you see, where the contour lines get closer together. It's really steep. I mean, it's doable. It's a bit nerve wracking. And then I've come down here to the river I started following the river along. We are camped here, right next to Afon Anafon. Got some midges about the place today. Sunset tonight is so beautiful. I'm going to try and get some sleep, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning. What a gorgeous morning it is. I think I slept seven or eight hours last night. I woke up a couple times. First time in a bit of a panic because I could hear running water and it took me a minute to realise where I was and that it was normal that I could hear running water. And then I woke up about half five and just decided to go back to sleep for a bit. So I woke up at about seven. I felt really nice and refreshed. My bed felt so comfy last night. As soon as I got in it, it was just like, oh, bliss. Yeah, I don't think there were any thunderstorms at all in the end. So that was fine. Today we're heading up to the lake in that direction. I don't know what I'm doing after that. I'm just gonna play it by ear, 
there's two options. I can either come back the same way and then head back down by Abba Falls and find a pitch for night three in the woods down there somewhere. Or I can take the longer, harder route, which will be up to a summit from the lake, which is pathless, and then join onto the Cambrian Way for a while and go all the way around and back down. But I'll evaluate as I go and we'll decide when we get to the lake. It's what I love about these trips, just sort of go with the flow, do whatever takes your fancy. It's a lot cooler today, cooler and fresher, which is really nice. So yeah, I'll see you up at the lake. together. Hello, I am here at the lake. So I have decided to head on up to the Cambrian Way up there. I can see from down here a route up and it looks absolutely fine. So that's great. I mean, I could backtrack and it'd be faster and easier, but I came here for adventure. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm at 500 meters currently. It is 11 o'clock. So I think I'm gonna see if I can get up there before lunch. Let's do it. on the Cambrian Way. It's always such a feeling of relief and accomplishment when you do, even if it's just a little stretch of pathless. Oh, such a nice feeling to be up here on a proper path. So from here, we're gonna be heading up this peak and then we're gonna continue all the way down. There are still storm warnings, so I don't wanna be camping up high tonight and it's not even lunchtime yet, so we've got ages to push on, get this summit done and then get down the other side. The weather's coming in now. I've just reached my second summit for the trip. It's 770 meters, so that's great, but I'm not wanting to hang around up here. So I'm following the Cambrian way a little bit, and then I'm looking for a turning off down a quarry path, and gonna get a bit lower down. A bit less risk of getting hit by lightning or something. Really getting the uh, kilometers in today. We're uh, nearly seven and a half already, which is really good for me anyway. Just stopped for lunch. Oh, it's such a beautiful view of the sea. I'm wondering if I could walk to it. Hi guys, I have walked nearly 18 kilometers today, coming all the way down from up there in the mountains down to the coast. It is nearly nine o'clock at night, it's high tide, and I thought since I've been up there looking at the sea for the last few days, it'd be a perfect end to the trip to get in the sea, have a little swim before I go home. So let's get in there now. Oh, I'm so hot, I can't wait. God, that is amazing. Right, that is rain coming in, so we better get going. It's half past nine now, so not got much daylight left, but at least I know exactly where we're pitching tonight. I'm gonna pop in there in that little bit of woods and I'll see you there. I'm all set up in my little tent. I have traveled 19.5 kilometers, which is mad for me personally. It's a lot further than I anticipated going. I can't believe I started in that valley and I've been up to a lake, up to a summit, all the way down, round back to the coast. It's been absolutely incredible. So that's over 35 kilometers total so far. 22 miles, which is crazy. And it'll be more than that as well by the time I get back to the car tomorrow. I won't bore you with walking back to my car in the morning, so. I guess this is the end of another amazing adventure. Thank you so much for coming along with me, guys. Night. Oh, got a sunrise on my last morning.
I'm just an ordinary person. I work, I earn enough to pay my rent, I drive an old second-hand car, and I spend most of my life being mum to my amazing son, paying bills, cooking dinner, and I love my little life. But once in a while, I like to try and do something that feels a little bit extraordinary. If only for a short time, I get to be an adventurer. I get to be someone who sees epic, beautiful waterfalls, who climbs to summits and camps under the stars, who swims in cool, crystal clear waterfall pools and treks across pathless routes planned from a paper map. Little me, just making my way through the wild places. This trip has taken me into the unknown. It's humbled me and scared me a bit at times, but mostly it's shown me such indescribable raw beauty. It's taken my breath away and it's made me feel so incredibly alive. It's been one of the best things that I've ever done and the experiences that I've had here have made my heart glad and will stay with me for a lifetime. I feel like I've got to live my best life these last few days and I hope you'll get to live your best life too, whatever that means for you.